You know, I've gained a lot of subscribers. I've gained approximately 200 ever since I dropped those videos on EEP. So I'm doing really well. And what's crazy is when my computer stopped working, I had to start recording on my phone. I really thought my downfall, my channel was going to start, but really it's been uphill. So really, I, I just want to stop and thank all of you guys for supporting. So major W, major love to every single one of you. Now let's get into the video. Chloe Roma. Now I didn't know who she was till yesterday and basically she put out a tiktok slamming and criticizing a mom and now that mom's family is now getting into some controversy let me actually play her clip real quick right now this video comes with a massive trigger warning for emotional and psychological abuse and a small child in distress to behave, so we are going to do his least favorite thing and we're going to take him through a car wash You know, that baby looks to you for comfort and support. That baby is probably the same age as mine. What, about a year and a half? Oh, look, everybody, he's behaving as he's whimpering in fucking tears, not even in the fucking store anymore, because your, your need for immediate gratification just trumps any, like, motherly instinct that you should have. I know you took down your TikTok, but people have been reposting your videos, showing your clear disdain for men. So I sure hope that you're not treating your baby boy this way just because you have some need to fucking smash the patriarchy and whatever parent was riding in the car with you they need to be held responsible too i am sick and tired of parents sitting back and watching the other parent abuse their children now i didn't know who she was prior to this i didn't know her at all so i clicked on her channel because i was seeing this on twitter i'm not getting into specifics because i didn't ask this person for permission if i could talk about this but if you know you know Anyways, uh, I looked her up and I was like surprised because she has a million subscribers and apparently she's a men's rights activist. Didn't even know that was a thing with women. I'm going to be completely honest. I've never met a woman who calls herself a men's rights activist. I guess that's cool. But I'm specifically going to talk about this specific clip. So just for those who are Chloe fans that are coming here, all I'm going to tell you is I don't know who she is. I don't know her history. I don't know jack shit, nothing about her. I spent this entire weekend talking about a pedophile in EDP 4 over 5. So please cut me some slack. But her, she clearly didn't cut some slack for an innocent mother who was just taking care of her kid. Now in the clip, what you see is a mom. She, She's going through a car wash and the kid clearly is scared. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, all right, I'll keep it a buck. Who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? So you see in the clip, the baby's crying. Who fucking cares? Who, who cares? Kids get scared of everything. In this instance, it's something that he's only going to get scared of for once. And the thing is, this girl goes around saying, oh, it's trauma. It's trauma. It's trauma. She's going to, you know, the baby's going to feel traumatized. It's like, bro, it's a car wash. That baby within like. Two, I don't know how old the baby is. I'm assuming an, a one-year-old, two-year-old. I don't know. Within a couple of years, the baby's going to figure out what a car wash is and realize, oh, it's nothing. The thing is, every kid goes through their scary phase. The, every kid has something that scares them that when they get older, or not even just older, but just two or three years pass by, they'll just realize there's no reason to get scared of it. When I was a kid, I was literally scared of this little Mario Kart toy I had because for some reason, either I had a dream of it or it just came up in my head one day and I thought I saw its head tilt or its eyes blink and I remember I got scared of that toy forever I remember as a kid for some reason one of my imaginations was I had this little rubbery like spider-man logo thing it was like a spider and for some reason I remember just seeing it crawl that's some I don't even think that was a dream that was just like something crazy I thought when I was a kid there was a time where I was scared of Barbies there was a time where I was scared of certain things I was scared of the Venom symbiote when I was a kid when I first read a spider-man comic I was like oh shit that thing's scary like the thing is as kids Kids, you're going to have something scary in your life that really isn't going to scare you in the future. I'm no longer scared of that spider or that Mario Kart toy. I ain't scared of anything. Actually, I'm a little scared of my Captain America hot toy that you see there. Because for some reason, I feel like sometimes I've seen that thing's head move. I don't know. That could just be me. Anyways, the reason why I'm talking about it is apparently the mom and her family have been receiving harassment. And this is where I talk about the dangers of social media and what someone who's popular can do. Now, th here's the thing. People on the internet, we're not important. Really, a McDonald's employee is far more important than us because at least they provide something of service. Right here, we just put up a video on the internet 
and other people just watch it. I I myself, I'm gonna tell you this right now. A Best Buy employee is more is more and more important than me. A Target employee is more important than me. In fact, I'd say they're more important than 99% of YouTubers. I think the only YouTuber I can say that is somewhat important is Mr. Beast, and that's because he gives away money. And I do think that we provide a service. I think we provide entertainment because we're it's kind of like TV, you know. Jerry Seinfeld isn't important, but people really like his show, and so they provide the empty space of entertainment. That's why people watch Seinfeld. I think that it's similar to YouTubers, but we're not as important as a McDonald's cashier, Walmart cashier. I don't care. And I know that's a controversial take, but that's true. So when it comes to Chloe Roma, apparently she's this virtue signaling girl who who just talks about everything and her audience just kind of gobbles up everything. They're just, and they gobble up everything and they believe everything she's saying. But in this instance, you put a family in danger. You're harassing a family and nothing's worse to a mother than being told they're not good enough. No, or any parent really like imagine like you just post this funny clip of your kid. And then all of a sudden you're getting endlessly harassed that you're a bad mom. And by the way, if you think that the mom is traumatizing this kid, you must be a freaking arsler, and I'm not going to say the arsler, so I'm just going to say stupid. Really, you got to be pathetic to think that. Again, and by the way, what is she supposed to do? Not go to a car wash? Like, I'm pretty sure she just did it as a joke. Like, it, it's so obvious. I watched, the thing is, I didn't watch anyone's thoughts on this. All I did was find this clip, and I was like, where, where's the trauma? Where, where is it? Can, can someone show me the trauma? Like, I'm telling you this right now. This kid's going to forget this in two years. Actually, the kid's probably forgotten it by now. I'm sorry, but kids have nightmares. Kids have scary things. There's one of my freaking cousins, he's scared of the, the, the villain from Incredibles 2. I remember one time we were trying to watch Incredibles 2, and then, boom, we couldn't watch it because the villain scared him. You know? And there's probably some kids that are scared of the Prowler in Into the Spider-Verse. That's just the truth of life. You know, and the thing is, you can't just install these phobias to kids, too. You have to, because I hate when people say, I have arachnophobia, I'm scared of bees, I'm scared of this, I'm scared of that. You ain't scared of it. The reason is, you let yourself be scared, so you put yourself in a bubble, and hence, you never escape that bubble. That's why I tell people, start growing a better mindset, start being, start having a thicker skull. Because the thing is, in life, no one's going to care. I'm sorry, saying you have arachnophobia doesn't mean shit. If a spider is causing you to to not do anything or to be a piece of shit then that's on you and the same applies in this a kid's gonna have a nightmare when they're a kid and then boom that's it but for this girl to have the audacity the audacity to go send harassment to this mom that, that's just pathetic now i don't think she did it intentional i'm pretty sure she just because this is the thing when you make a certain kind of content you pander towards that content when i was last summer when i was criticizing geeks and gamers and erotic all that when i was criticizing these channels uh, what one thing that I noticed that I started pandering to is I started pandering to more liberal, more leftist people in the movie talk sphere that to the point where my entire subscriber base became that when I would talk about Ezra Miller, when I would talk about Geeks and Gamers, whatever, it felt like I pandered to that side. So they became my audience. Hence, now that I have that audience, I started trying to cater towards them. But what I realized is I don't want to cater to someone specifically. What I want to do is make good content and put it out there to the world. And if you like it, and if you don't, you're more than welcome to choose whether you subscribe or not. That's what free will is for. As Americans, as human beings, as whatever you want to call us, we all have free will. We get to choose what we do, unless you're North Korean. In that case, you can't watch this video. And if you're watching it... Well, let's just say I'm going to snitch to Kim Jong-un about this. So what Chloe does is she does this. She panders to his audience. She she pretends like she's this virtuous hero when in reality you're not doing anything. You just sent harassment to his mom. You did it not wanting to, but you still did it. And that's why I think people need to be more careful. We need to be more cautious about what we do, what we say. Because now you've tricked people into thinking about this innocent TikTok who, that was clearly a joke. And you made people think that it was a mom traumatizing her kid. Nah, and by the way, if you did fall for it, to those Chloe fans that are watching this who have never met me, how do you think this is trauma? It's a car wash. All, she, all the baby is seeing is soap and water go on the, on the window. How is that any trauma? You're telling me this kid's going to grow up with the fear of car wash? You know, when this kid is like in his 20s, he gets his first car, or I guess you get your first car around 17, 18, around that age, I don't know. I don't know, but... You tell me when this kid gets his first car and, I don't know, he's out with the girl or whatever. You tell me this kid won't be able to go to a car wash because he's like, oh, no, I was traumatized as a baby because my mom sent me to a car wash. No, no. It's like, nah, that's, that's just not real world. That's not a real life scenario. This is just bullshit you just spewed out of your mind. 
And then you act virtuous even more by saying, I'm a mom. I would never traumatize my kid. You're telling me that you're never going to take your kid to a car wash? You're telling me that right now? Okay, record yourself 24-7 and prove that to me. <laughs> record that. Like, prove that to me. So really, at the end of the day, this is, again, another example of a danger of society or a danger of the Internet where we allow these influencers and i put that in quotation marks we allow these people to hold this virtuous power to pretend like they're actually heroes when really they're just randoms on the internet who are recording themselves on a phone and it's on a quick tiktok so chloe if you're watching this or any person that likes chloe all i gotta tell you is open up your mind realize you have a position of power that's something we need on the internet, by the way. And I've talked about this before. We need more role models. We need more people to stand up for themselves. And we need people to educate the youth. But instead, right now, what I'm seeing is just a bunch of people who want to look cool, who want to tell the young people, look, guys, I'm so smart. I defend kids from trauma. Oh, my God. And when you're not, instead, you just sent harassment to an innocent mother. And by the way, if, if this kid, I guarantee you, if this kid, once this kid gets older, and let's say he, for some reason the mom tells her, tells him the story, I guarantee you this kid's going to be like, oh, that's silly. Why would people take it that personal? You know? So at the end of the day, you're not doing anyone a favor. You're not saving anyone. All you're doing is getting clicks off your stupid, idiotic audience who clearly doesn't care about doing their own research and just want to pretend like they're good. So really... All I got to tell you people is have an open mind. Stop being stupid. Stop being buffoons. Stop with these shenanigans. I know I'm sounding white right now. But like just stop it man. Just shut the fuck up. Because really imagine if someone said this about your kid. Just imagine that. You take your kid to a car wash. You make a silly joke of a TikTok. And imagine someone just sends you harassment saying you're a bad mom. You don't deserve to have the kid. And by the way imagine if it got worse. Imagine if it got worse. Imagine if it got to the point where CPS was called. Now you would have had this kid have no mom. Now the mom, because taking a kid from a parent and especially a mother, that's that's like evil. That's evil, cruel shit. But even worse, a kid wouldn't be able to grow up with their mother. We already have a lot of issues with, with the orphan system and everything. Imagine if it got that bad. And that's why you got to start being more mindful. That's the thing. On the internet, we lose our humanity. On the internet, we just look at people as avatars. We just look at people as characters. At the end of the day, we're all human beings with our own issues. We're all complex. We all have different things, different motivations, different aspirations, different whatever. And we all are that. But people forget that when you're on the internet. That's why you got strangers arguing on Twitter over everything every other day. I'm sorry, but... I'm going to say this right now. Zeno and RJ. I know y'all y'all, y'all are in this space. If you don't know them, you don't know them. But these are two guys. Z, RJ, I believe, is a kid who's outside of college. I don't know why I said he's a kid. He's older than me. Then Zeno is like some fucking 60-year-old guy who, I don't know, lives on his own. He sounds like he's a divorcee. I don't freaking know. But you got these motherfuckers who beef with each other every other day. And it's like, motherfucker, you're both in completely different phases of your life. You've probably never even voice chatted each other it's like bro like calm the shut the fuck up bro y'all ain't doing shit y'all don't know each other and Zeno, you're an older guy too maybe you got to start being more of a role model and i talk this to every older person it feels like every adult person except for maybe like one or two every adult person here just comes in to complain about the youth and that's why i gotta tell everyone i'm telling everyone right now we gotta start leading by example stop complaining about other people because right now we live in that era where people love to complain about lgbt being groomers or we complain about conservatives being nazis maybe instead of doing that maybe we can just talk to one another how about we just communicate and if you are older or if you want to show people be, to be better, be a role model, speak up, lead by example, as especially if you're a man. And I know people are going to see this as sexist, but I don't fucking give a shit. You know, if you're a man, you should aspire to teach the youth what it's me, what it is to be a man. Show your belief, show, show why you, you are the example. Don't tell people to be the example. Show why you're the example. That's why I tell people over here on this channel. What do I preach? I preach sobriety. I, I preach I preach about not doing drugs, not doing, not, not taking, taking any chances, living the now. That's the slogan on the channel. Take chances. Stop, stop, stop with this regret bullshit. 
go out there, go to the real world, do whatever it is, the dream you have, put your mindset to it and shut the fuck up on the internet because this Twitter shit ain't helping you. Same applies to Chloe. Chloe, you are successful. You already have millions of subscribers. Why do you got to put down the innocent people who clearly can't respond? Because even if this mom responded, no one's going to watch her TikTok. She probably doesn't have any followers. I don't know her name. I don't know anything. She probably doesn't have any followers. So even if she responded, most of the people that watched your video aren't even going to know about it. So hopefully those people are watching this video so they can actually educate themselves and stop being fucking idiots. All right. Anyways, that's all I got to say. Uh, sorry if I got on a little bit of a rampage or whatever. But anyway, that's all I got to say. Um, so yeah, stay sober, stay sexy, and live in the now. So, ciao. Me fucked up. I need your love. I just want your